I think everybody in the industry should be worried about underinsurance. It, the, the premise has to be that when you buy an insurance policy, it's fit for purpose. Uh, the Insurance Act has been with us for nearly three years now, and it sets out a legal obligation on everybody in the supply chain to ask the right questions, to gather the right information, to treat the customer fairly, and to provide a quotation that meets their needs. One of the most frustrating things for us is when there is a fire. It's usually a fire. It's a large loss of, of physical property. And the initial report comes back from the loss adjuster and says, we think there's a problem with the sum insured. And it's usually, when you get these cases, it's usually something really simple, like the, the treatment of VAT, um, you know, the, the additional costs, not just building a new building, but the cost of removing what's left of, or all of the old building, you know, the planning delays, all of those issues which, which can complicate matters. But, but the, key, the key with building sums insured is that we all know that if a claim is made and the claim is not paid in full or in part, then inevitably we have a dispute. But when we're wearing our PI hat as the broker's um, insurer or the you know, representatives of the broker's insurer, what we want to get to is a situation where we're able to say, no, Mr. Broker, Mrs. Broker, whatever, you've done everything you possibly can to protect yourself um, and it isn't your fault that this has happened and therefore there is no legal liability. Broker protection always starts with the contract, the contract, the terms of business agreement they have with the client and, and what the scope of the service is. And this is the really critical thing with sums insured because what service is the broker providing to the client? Um, in other words, who's taking responsibility for the accuracy of sums insured? Um, we expect all brokers to have a, a, a really clear um, fairly worded but very clear terms of business agreement with the client that sets out who's doing what. Um, that then should mean that if a dispute occurs you look at the TOBA and you work out whether there's going to be liability or not. Um, with regard to the sums insured, I would expect most brokers to put in writing that they're not expert at providing or they're not legally qualified or whatever the caveats are to, to provide that information to the client. Um, but I think if you're doing that, you've got an obligation to have a solution. What we recommend to the broker is that they go a stage beyond that and actually give it to a professional to do. We've seen the price uh, plummet in terms of how much it's going to cost to the stage where uh, for one or two hundred pounds um, you can make sure that the amount is right. But the brokers that we support are professional organisations. Um, they pride themselves on getting these things right. Um, and they're talking to us. So in the, in the PI context, you know, we're looking at things like proposal form design and working on what are the questions we need to be asking nowadays. Um, most PI proposal forms don't even ask a question about sums insured and I find that bizarre when we're seeing a, a gentle sort of uptick in the number of claims coming into the market and we really need to be thinking as an industry this is not insurer versus broker because if we're not working hand in hand on this we're not going to get it right.